Continuing our updates from the United States, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is in the Czech Republic and he has lashed out at China's Communist Party as well as the TikTok platform's misuse of personal data. Pompeo has said that enormous data is available with the China's Communist Party and this is all because of the TikTok platform. Listen in. I, I won't begin today to tell uh, Europe where they should put their data centers. Yeah, I'll leave that to uh, you all as decision makers, but I can say this. Vás, no, no, without focusing on any one particular platform or, ne, a or company, or company platform, or the to capacity for this information to be shared amongst Western rule of law, and we understand where the data goes, is a completely different analysis than the data sets that are being transferred to an authoritarian regime like China, and the ends to which that information will be put under rule of law freedom-loving nations are vastly different than the ends to which that information will be put by, some, by someone like General Secretary Xi and the Chinese Communist Party. That's, that's what what's fundamentally different here. We can all adopt the sharing arrangements. We can trust that we will abide by them, and when we don't, there'll be a format and forum to resolve those conflicts and differences. That is radically different than what's taking place here. So what, when President Trump made his announcement about not only TikTok, but about WeChat, and if you read it, it's, it's, it's broader even still than that, is that uh, we're going to make sure that American data does not end up in the hands of uh, an adversary like the Chinese Communist Party, for whom we have seen data uses in Western China that rival the greatest human right violations in the history of mankind. And we're simply not going to permit that to happen within the best of our ability, and we're going to get through this as quickly as we can.